I'm K9 Deputy Peeney. This is K9 Yogi. Uh, join us today for a tweet along. All right, if you guys have any questions, you can uh, interact with us on Twitter. Most questions will be answered on uh, the Twitter account. So uh, stay tuned for the tweet along. All right, in my free time, uh, what I like to do for fun is work out, maybe go on the boat, uh, spend time with my son, um, go to a movie or two. In Yogi's free time, he's just pretty much waiting to go to work because that's his happy place. Or he's running around the house trying to uh, tear up one of his toys. All right, so we're walking to this medical facility where a subject was uh, making suicide threats. So we're gonna see if this other deputy has made contact with him. Hey, it's Deputy Mason. We were called out here by one of the nurses to check on a patient. Uh, he's been making some suicidal statements lately. He's just been very depressed and he's, uh, he's worried about his own health. So I came out here, I'm going to bake rack him and transfer him to a hospital for some help. Alright, in terms of karaoke song, I'm not, I'm not much of a singer because I can't sing. But I'd have to say Benny and the Jets. And uh, motivate or songs that pump me up, I'd, I'd go with motivational speeches or videos on YouTube. All right, so we have some off time, and during our off time, I like to do a little bit of training just to keep up on his obedience and stuff like that. So, come to an empty parking lot, and we're gonna do some obedience with the dog. The dog's gonna stay consistent no matter what shift he's on, um, unless you're just gonna have certain obstacles like with daytime or day shift like with the sun or the heat but as far as the workload or work wise he's gonna stay consistent in his duties as far as the handler you're gonna, when it comes to day shift and night shift you're gonna have your obstacles as far as getting on a you know a good sleep schedule and uh, there are two different um types of shifts because during the daytime you have a lot more traffic and uh, a lot of different type of calls uh, rather than the night shift where you have more of your hot calls and your burglars and stuff like that. So, there are two different types of... Uh... One of the funniest moments with Ken and Yogi is we got a call to do a narcotic sniff at the jail. And uh, while I was sniffing in one of the jail cells, he stopped and proceeded to take a poop in the middle of a cell. It was cleaned up before the inmates came back, but it was just hilarious. All right, so we're heading to a battery that just occurred. Um, a male possibly grabbed a female by the neck, seen by the caller. Um, we don't know if they left the, the location yet or not in the vehicle, so we're going to go by and check. All right, in reference to that last call, we're, we're not heading to that. JK. And we're heading to a stalking in progress um, where an ex-boyfriend is following his ex-girlfriend and allegedly stalking her. So the subject we just made contact with was uh, telling us that his bondsman told him to follow his ex-girlfriend because he wanted to revoke the bond that he took out on her. Um, it's pretty much the, the whole case in a nutshell. So we just got into a verbal argument and then we uh, split them up. He's gonna call his bondsman to revoke the bond. Favorite excuses. Uh, most excuses people use are basic, like, this isn't my car, or I didn't know, or this isn't mine. So they're kind of basic. I run that all the time. I'm um, part of military, so when I got home from Afghanistan after deployment, and I was transitioning out of military, I wanted a job where I was going to be on my feet, doing something exciting, and law enforcement seemed like the only option to, to have that. Um, excitement and I don't want to sit behind a desk and push paper so law enforcement was my first choice. We're heading to a vehicle crash right now where um, some parties involved uh, fled on foot across the campaign.
So we showed up here. The girl had supposedly ran into this pond behind the racetrack. Uh, there was some miscommunication after everything was said and done. She actually didn't run into here. She ran down behind the racetrack between the fence and the building and most likely just took off south. But we worked this because a guy had actually went into the, the cattails and tried to find her and said that she was in there. So we were in there basically the whole time searching for her, thinking maybe she had buried herself in the pond when really she probably just ran south from here. But that's what happens. Certain people had to stand back because they couldn't keep up. I will take a watermelon, right? Okay. The stuff that dreams are made of. Is this black tree to know? You can't in. So if I couldn't be a Leo, I would become a ninja. Okay, so right now we're heading to a traffic stop where some units have a female detained for a warrant. They want to do a drug sniff on the vehicle. The K9, so. Oops. I'm Deputy Morrow with the Sheriff's Office, uh, D1 Star. Corporal oh, Jordan, D1 Star. And Sergeant Kamek with uh, District 1 Star. Today we pulled over uh, Cadillac behind us. I uh, ran the tag and the, the registered owner was showing that she had an active warrant, a uh, violation of probation warrant out of Fernando. We initiated a traffic stop in this driveway. Uh, we detained her and shortly after, Deputy Peeney and K9 Yogi arrived on scene and conducted a narcotic sniff alerted to narcotics in the car. Uh, we found a small plastic container with uh, a cotton swab that was pink. We tested it and it tested positive for it. So now she's going to be going to jail for her warrant. Probably some of the future charges as well. I'm K9 Deputy P. This is K9 Yogi. Thanks for tuning in today for the tweet along. Make sure you tune in next week for next week's tweet along. Unlock your doors tonight for the 9 p.m. routine.